everybody, Kenny Young here at Nibble Hill Vineyard and Winery. This morning we're in the winery next to the old oak barrels. Um, what a better way for me to start my day than with a nice taste of Nibble Hill's own Riesling. Oh, that's something to contend with. Our winemaker, Kevin Durland, just got back from being down south this past winter. He was in Florida visiting his son and in Myrtle Beach. Um, and you know it's springtime when your winemaker is back. I'm hoping to get an interview with Kevin today and find out what um, he's been doing in the winery and what the process is he's going through with his first week back at work, ordering and um, cold stabilizing and, and things of that sort. Um, hopefully we'll get to talk to him today. barrels. Uh, it's, it's March. These barrels haven't been topped for about two months and that's longer than I like to let them go. But uh, I was down south for two months so first thing I do when I get back is top these barrels. What happens is there's some evaporation takes place what they call the angels share. Uh, the angels get their share of wine through evaporation but we have a second angel here at Nimble Hill called Gary. Called Gary. And uh, he makes sure while I'm down in Florida, he does a very important thing. He samples these and makes sure that they're developing, tries to identify what wines are exceptionally nice or what barrel numbers, because uh, we do have them numbered, are really nice so that we can uh, blend them appropriately when we're ready to and uh, make the wines we, we think they should go into. So uh, this is just the topping process. I have to do it on all the reds that are in barrels and the Chardonnay. These are combination of Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon barrels that I'm topping right now. And I spray around these bungs before I remove them with a solution of sulfur and citric acid that'll kill any microbes that might be wanting to live around there where we've spilled wine taking samples out. This one, I think the angel got into this one quite a bit. They're typically taking about a pitcher, a pitcher and a half, so about two to three quarts. I typically be checking the sulfur levels and adding sulfur at the same time right now, but uh, we want to taste these tomorrow when you first add sulfur. It takes a week or two for that to integrate into the wine. Okay, so the varieties, I said before, we're working with uh, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Cabernet Franc right now, and uh, the barrels I've already topped are all of those. Uh, but outside I've got some reds that are grown here on our estate that go into Nimble Hill Red or uh, grown at the Sugar Hollow Vineyard. Uh, we have some barrels out there of Limburger and Lando Noir blended. The Limburger came from the Sugar Hollow Vineyard. The Lando Noir we grow here. And uh, we also have, I already have some Nimble Hill Red blend put together of those two, plus a little bit of Cab Franc in a barrel or two. And then uh, we also have in barrels, the only white we do in barrels is Chardonnay. And uh, our Chardonnay is all done in barrels. There's, uh, there's about 180 gallons in this stainless steel tank over here, but there's two barrels that have 120 gallons. So we'll have roughly a 60-40 blend of oak and an oak Chardonnay. And that'll get topped today as well. Uh, so they're the wines that we age in oak and uh, the topping process is going quite well today. And uh, I'd like to sign off by saying goodbye and uh, happy wine drinking.